after an early morning fire at a bar in Blanchardville. News 3's Jessica Arb joins us live now with details in the fire that has rocked this community. Jessica? It really has, Rob. We're here sort of overlooking Main Street in Blanchardville. You can see uh, one of the historic buildings, one of the main buildings here on Main Street in Blanchardville has been ravaged by fire, and four people are now dead. Now, while names are not being released of the deceased, at least one mother on the scene here today says her son, who worked at the Silver Dollar Bar, died in the fire. Quite a dramatic scene on Main Street in Blanchardville, where the historic building housing the Silver Dollar Bar and floors of two floors, floors of apartments went up in flames about 3 a.m. The officer in charge in Blanchardville spotted smoke and called in the fire. Uh, and he tells News 3 he saw someone run in, run out, then run back in to yells of help. One of the dead in the fire is allegedly 34-year-old Brian Monty, whose mother says worked part-time at the bar. My mother called me to say that Brian perished in the fire, and I had gotten a message from my son to call him immediately. And so then I called and I was told that Brian had died in the fire. Now the names of the other dead have not been released, although the Blanchardville fire chief did confirm that the two owners of the bar lived upstairs. Now, an investigation into the cause of this fire has begun already and could take some time. The village president tells me that they're planning to keep part of Highway 78 here, which is the main street that runs through Blanchardville, closed because bricks have been falling off the sides of the building. But a small town here losing four residents, it has been quite a shock to many. We will bring you much more on our shows later at News 3 at 5 and 6. All right, Jessica reporting from Blanchardville today. Jess, thank you.